Hey, I'm John from American Eagle Plumbing. Today, we're going to be removing a toilet. And so I'm going to kind of walk you step by step as to how I do it. Now, there's plenty of different ways that one can do this. So keep in mind, it's just my way. Um, it doesn't make it the right way, but it works for me. So first things first, when you're removing a toilet is you need to make sure that you shut your water off to the toilet because you don't want to remove the water supply and forget you have a big mess. First, I grab a couple of rags and set those up right underneath the shutoff valve. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that. And then that way I know I can just go ahead and disconnect my water supply to the tank. Now I'm going to get a little bit of water because there's a little bit of water still in between the connection from here to the bottom of this fill valve. So now that's kind of disconnected and out of the way. And I won't forget when I go to pull this bowl off the floor. So once we have our water supply off, we're going to have to try to get rid of all this water that's inside the tank. So go ahead and remove your tank lid, set it off in a safe, safe spot so you don't break it later. Not that you're going to want it because I'm going to be throwing this toilet away. Or if you're going to be resetting it later, you're going to want to keep that in a safe spot. So we want to get rid of this water. And the best way to get rid of this water is just to go ahead and flush it. So all we're doing is emptying most of this water and it's going to go right down into the bowl. Now, if you see there's still water sitting in the tank and there's still water sitting in our bowl. So we're going to have to take a vacuum and we're going to suck that out so we don't spill it after we pull it. Now there's a couple different ways that you can get rid of this water. Uh, you can take a small measuring cup and a towel and just kind of sop it up and put it into a bucket if you don't have a shop vac. You can take a shop vac and suck it out, which is what we're going to do. Or there, and I don't have this product, but there's a gel that you can buy and you can just dump it inside and that gel will kind of solidify, semi-solidify. So when you pull the bowl, uh, nothing will come out of the trap. But here in today's video, we're going to go ahead and, and use a small shop vac and we're going to remove all the water inside the bowl and the tank. So I'll circle back as to why I like to remove all the water out of the bowl and the tank. But for right now, the next step is we're going to have we're going to remove the bolts that hold the bowl to the floor. And if you can see, there's this white cap right there. Now, in this particular case, I, I'm not too particular about how I'm going to pop these off because I'm going to be replacing this toilet. But if you wanted to reuse these things, I like to take maybe a flathead screwdriver, a real thin one, and try to sneak it underneath here to pop them off so you can reuse them. But in today's case, because I'm getting rid of the toilet, I'm just going to put my channel locks on either side and I'm just going to pop it off and I'm going to throw it away. So I'm going to pop it off on both sides and expose the, the toilet bolts. Now these toilet bolts are, they look like they're, they're plastic. Um, again, there's plastic, brass, um, lots of different ways. And um, I just like to use a crescent wrench is one of my favorite tools and just loosen it up. And that way I can get rid of loosen it up and take the nut and the washer off and then I'm just going to throw it away. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on this other side. Now this toilet is pretty well set to the floor and I'm not going to be able just to lift this toilet <clears throat> off the floor because of the caulking. So what I do is I use, it's like a, a painter's uh, spatula or a painter's um, tool and try to get pick this old caulking off. Now the other way I like I like to do is I'm gonna use this and a hammer and I'm just gonna cut the caulking and I'm gonna have to kind of work my way 
all the way around and loosen, loosen the adherement to the floor. So I've gone ahead and hammered this all the way around, gotten my spatula all the way around this bowl to the point where this toilet's kind of loose. And I know that it can be just pulled and taken out. So I like to just go ahead and get on either side of it, and rock it back and forth to make sure everything is disconnected, loose, and then that way I can just go ahead and pull it. Now, what I'm gonna do, because I'm on a second level, is I'm gonna take some rags and I gotta bring this, I gotta bring this outside. So I'm gonna take some rags, ball them up, and I'm gonna stick them in the outlet of the toilet. That way I know that no water, no toilet water is gonna be dripping on anybody's carpet. Nobody's gonna have to clean up after me and everything's nice, nice and perfect. All right, so after we have the toilet pulled, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta clean up this wax ring because we're not gonna be able to reuse that. And we're gonna have to clean up this floor because there's this all this old caulking that was uh, left from from the toilet. So I like to take that same spatula, for lack of a better word, and I'm gonna just use this to dig up this wax, and I'm gonna put it on a rag. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and make sure that this toilet flange is prepped and ready for when the new toilet goes back in here. And then as far as this old caulking, I'm gonna take a razor blade and I'm gonna clean this up. And I'm gonna take some a green scotch pad and some rubbing alcohol and get it back to a point where you can't even see the old caulk. Now that I have my floor all cleaned, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my hole. So I'm gonna just wad up some rags and make sure that my hole is plugged. And this just prevents sewer gas because in this particular bathroom, we're gonna be painting. And this toilet is gonna to be kind of in the way if it's set. So I'm just gonna kind of plug that hole so that way this room or, or the home won't smell like sewer. You won't get any of that. And so we'll just go ahead and, and plug that. And then we're gonna put one more rag over top so that nobody accidentally gets any of that excess wax. So that's nice and clean and it's not gonna be getting everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video of removing and in this case, disposing of the old toilet. If you have any questions or, or comments, please post those below. Uh, please like and share this video. I'm John from American Eagle Plumbing. Be great.